In this tutorial, we are going to look at the Contact Us Management page. This is where you are able to add or modify your contact pages. We currently allow either multiple contact pages or only a single contact page. The first drop-down that you have is to either add or manage your contact pages or to delete the contact page. We don't recommend ever deleting all of your contact pages because then you will only have a telephone number and email displaying on the site with no form for your clients to send requests through. Additionally, you also have the map on each contact page, so you only ever want to delete the additional contact pages and always have your main contact page link on your site. Next is a drop-down that says either one contact page with only a single menu link on the main menu or multiple contact pages in a drop-down menu. The fields you need to add are as follows, your branch name or department name, the contact person's name, cell phone number, telephone number, the contact person's title, and the email address for the branch slash department. The longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates for each contact page will once again automatically be added, as per the address you have provided in the appropriate fields. Next, we have our special instructions sections. Once again, you can add any special instructions for your users. One thing to remember when adding or editing this page is to make sure that you do activate the number of contacts provided or you will not be able to fill in their details. Let's change that option now to add multiple contacts. The option is now provided to select how many contacts you want to manage or add with a minimum of two contacts and a maximum of five contacts. The reason why the option starts at two and not one is that having only one contact in a dropdown is impractical. If you have two contact pages or more, we will automatically create a drop-down menu for you with a list of different contact pages. Firstly, select how many contact pages you want to be added. You are then given the option to click Activate before you can edit the details for each of the selected contact pages. So go through the process of adding the branch name or the department name, the contact person, cell phone number, telephone number, the title of the contact, the email as well as the address of each branch, and finally the special instructions. Once you've added the first contact, please click on Activate to add the second contact. Go through the process again of putting all the information for your second branch or department. Follow these steps until all contact details have been added. If you come back to this page to edit the contact page again, all the info that you have added will be available for you to edit so that you don't need to insert all the contact details all over again. Once you have gone through adding all the info, adding as many contact pages as you need, you simply click on the Update Contacts button and your new contact pages will be listed, each with a unique form, and the emails will go to the email address that you have specified. We will now move on to tutorial 8 and briefly show you how to manage your social media links.